couple of important things about Twilio. Again, Twilio is the system that we're going to use for texting and also usually voicemail drops if you decide to do that. So I highly recommend that you set this up. If you're going to use the software, you should do this. It's very, very cheap. On average, about a penny and a half per text. They require, I think they give you $15 up front for free. Then they require to be able to get a phone number. It's a dollar per month for the phone number that you get to use for your local area. I'll show you where that's at in just a second. And then it's a $20 deposit that's basically used for that around penny and a half. Don't quote me exactly because it does vary, but it's usually on average about that. So here we go. Here's the things that you still need to do in addition to that the other video that we talked about. Get the Twilio account, but then you do need to go ahead and email me. That way I don't have to sign in. I can sign in, but then you have to verify me to be able to sign in for you. And then you have to give me the code within an hour. And we're finding out that that's difficult. That's not what we want to do. So instead, you just go ahead and sign up for the Twilio account. Go ahead and put your credit card number in. Sign up for the dollar per month phone number. And then put down $20 for deposit. Again, you use it as you go along. And then if I were you, I would have it auto uh, put the $20 back in. I think there's something that you can click for that, that we don't have to sign in and do that every single time. So I would go ahead and go ahead and sign back in and give this to me. That way I don't have to double verify and it's usually a lot of extra work for both of us. So log back into your Twilio and go to the account SID. And this is normally under um, go, go, it might say my first Twilio account, but your console or your dashboard might even be the home page that you go to normally when you first log in. So keep that in mind. But I need two things. I need your account SID. If you want to show your authorization token, I need that. Or you can just click this and copy the authorization token. But it's a long number as well. But I need your long number for your account ID and your long number for your authorization token. And I need your phone number. Now keep in mind, it'll give you a free phone number under your trial. However, you probably don't want to keep that because usually the free phone number is not within your area code and then it looks kind of weird when you're texting your clients and it's an area code from five states away, right? So what you really want to do is you want to go and get your own phone number. So you want to go over here under phone numbers and go to manage and then buy a phone number. And what's going to happen is you'll get a list of local phone numbers to your area and if you need to you can put in I think it's up here. Well, that's for United States. Where do you put it? You can put in here what it starts with. And you can go ahead and select that way. And then you can pick from that area code. And you can get a little bit specific. Also, if you need to do an advanced search, kind of look at that way. But it's a dollar a month. You know, it, it's well worth it. Otherwise, if you're not particular, just use the other one that it gives you. So do that. Send me your phone number your uh, and those two codes, the SID code and then that authorization token. Then I'll have everything I need. I don't actually have to log into your Twilio account that way, and then we don't have to go back and forth a lot. Thanks.